Somebody asked asked me a couple of days ago why they should help, why they should donate, and I've been thinking about it. So I decided to show you what a day, what one of my days off looks like when I'm not at work, actually actually making money what I am doing for this ministry now one of the hardships that I personally have had over the past month is express professionals screwed up my direct deposit and ended up paying somebody else and it took forever for them to actually actually they still haven't acknowledged that I haven't gotten paid so I think I'm going to probably have to eat it which is probably which is probably par for the course because we live in a day and age where everybody is trying to scam everybody I mean look at Nicole Luther I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I don't steal. And this is basically a video proving that I don't steal. This is just me trying to Get enough food for the day because right now I have an account at zero and another another account in the negative and just enough gas to get to work for the rest of the week and I'm grateful for that because of Express's screw up I have a new appreciation for somebody that is in such an extreme situation that doesn't steal. I tried to take out a loan. It didn't it didn't work because my direct deposit history is only one payment because Express screwed up. Um, and they're not going to go back more than a month. <sighs> so I get denied on a payday advance. Um, I spent the day making phone calls on a Wi-Fi system because my phone happens to be shut off because I haven't been paid for a month. Um, anyway, you watch the video, and I think you'd understand exactly how close you probably are to needing the services that Anarchy Empowered raises money for in the first place. I am so grateful for the network that has been created especially today because I actually was able to eat. Um, that has nothing to do with the government. These are people just trying to give back to their community. There is no government subsidies with the exception of SHARE. along the way at all these are these are companies that are making donations to nonprofits which we will have our nonprofit de designation within the next month um, it's just taken more time than 
I anticipated because of, well, I'm further behind in my debts than I ever have been in my life, and mm. I don't like it. I have to catch up. All right. So watch the watch the video. Um, I'll also give you a link to a, a link to a blog post on in the description that will explain more about our plan as far as as far as why we are wanting to buy these houses why we are trying to do something that has been done before but not to this level and not actually have it work the reason that I think this will work is because of the element of freedom that will be given to the people that are being served. Okay. See this? We have huge lots on both sides of 117th in Vancouver. That would definitely benefit Anarchy Empowered and our ministry if we could buy them. All right. Um, I just showed you two lots on both sides of 117th in Vancouver, Washington that would be very beneficial. We could put yurts on them. Um, give people shelter and the city wouldn't be able to say anything because we own the land that's the goal but here's another very sick personal reality I'm starving um, my friend in Florida and my father both sent me money through Zelle that I never received because my phone is off and for some reason it didn't go through into my account. Um, it would be very easy to walk into Golden Corral just kind of fake through the line and go through the buffet. I've done stuff like that my entire life, but that is not what anarchy and power is all about. It is not what moral anarchy is all about. The very premise of a moral anarchy is such a high standard of personal morality that we don't need a government. So, I'm going to try and intentionally overdraw my account at Fred Meyers so I have some food. If it works, I just detour the debt until Friday and yeah, but if it doesn't, well, all I've had today is a potato and an orange and I got to tell you, that's not cutting it. All right, guys. Yeah, um, at Fred Meyers, it didn't work. The bank won't let you go over anymore. So, yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I just refuse to 
go the way that Nicole and others in my life, in my past, had. I'm not going to. It's very tempting, but I'm not going to. It's not who I am, it's not what I pitch. I don't know if I have enough gas to do this, but I can still make it to the share house if I can make it to the car on time and eat whatever they were feeding down there. I doubt it. I don't have a lot of time and by the time I get there, they might be out of food. Anyway, I'm gonna try. Whoa, okay, I got a full stomach. Um, that'll last me for a bit. This place has really changed. This neighborhood has really changed. Businesses that were here are gone look like they're even condemned then new buildings are coming up and and the share house is being pushed out um, without the share house the homeless population in Vancouver isn't going to have any place to go this place has been here for at least 40 years and they have established a reputation of being a safe haven and the city doesn't want them here anymore there's new businesses coming in just down the street and the new businesses don't want anything um, we've got foundries and recycling plants in this in this area but when asked if there's any work around here one lady says I don't know I'm homeless and I do dope It is not the responsibility of any government to govern over people's choices. These people make the choice to be homeless or the bad choices that they made cause them to be homeless. What I'm proposing is a stopgap in between the choice of being homeless and getting back on your feet where you're required to work get a job function as a normal person within society If you can hear the people in the background, the mentality of, of the homeless population shows you why they're homeless. So, yeah, Share Vancouver is a wonderful program. Fish is a wonderful program. There are programs out there, there are resources out there to help, but they are missing vital elements. And the biggest vital element is the motivation. 
if somebody doesn't have a need to actually improve because a safety net is there most of the time they're not going to all right I am going to look around see what kind of work is actually here Okay. Well, it's time to go. All right, I found a for sale by owner's sign on 4th Plain. Um, the address is, don't know if I can see it. Um, 6402, 4th Plain. I'll check it out later. Okay, after all of that running around, my knee is really in pain. Um, I can't move it again, and I gotta go to work in the morning. So, I'm down for the rest of the day. And I am... about to make a phone call for that for sale by owner on fourth plane if that is successful I got to do some research first but if that is successful I might be able to take over the mortgage for him or her and they can move on out which would be beneficial for both of us and Anarchy Empowered can move on well wish me luck